Let's take a quick look at how SpaceClaim speeds up the prep time for Moldflow users. SpaceClaim is a tool that enables you to directly import geometry from different systems, like ProE, SolidWorks, or even Step and IGES files. And in addition to simply importing the files from these different systems, SpaceClaim enables you to edit them by directly selecting on faces or edges to make very fast edits. Watch as we select in this hole and modify the size. We can make these changes based off our analysis or to help us get the models ready. In addition to dynamically editing the model, we can also type in precise dimensions, changing these holes to any size we please. And watch, SpaceLime has smart features that allows us to grab not just a single edge, but all these edges at the same time even though we're directly editing the model. Another tool that's very useful in SpaceClaim is the ability to control and type in precise dimensions while you make edits. If a common change would be changing wall thicknesses, SpaceClaim can go through and save that ruler dimension for you. So you'll have a dimension that you can always refer to as you make changes. Run one analysis at one millimeters, and one another at 1.5. This will help you go through and optimize a design for manufacturing. Another tool that's commonly used to help prepare models is our fill tool. Fill lets us select on geometry and remove it from our model, removing several holes at the same time, or even using our same power select option, where we can select on one round, find all of them of the equal size, and pop them off at the same time. In addition to preparing single models for analysis, we can also look at the manufacturing process and bring in an entire mold assembly. Here, it's sometimes easier to view the model in a 2D cross-section. Now we've seen editing models in 3D, we can also see us make dynamic changes in a 2D cross-section pulling on faces, pulling on holes, or snapping them to the same height. Now if we're going to go back and extract our volume later on, it might be helpful for us to fill geometry in, removing holes, just with a click of a button. And seeing them in this cross-section makes it much easier for us to select on them. Another common thing we might want to do is make the trail of the plastic going through the mold and we can do this by sketching in 3D. Sketch a few lines we may need before rotating our sketch grid to add more. And here we'll see us finishing off our sketch of the flow of the plastic through our mold, finally coming to the mold cavity. And if we go through and hide all the solids, it's easy to see the path we just sketched. So in just a few clicks, SpaceClaim can make that path for you which can be saved as an IGES file and brought into Moldflow. Lastly, let's go through and create a 3D model of that plastic going through our mold. So again, SpaceClaim can fill cavities, depressions, and pockets inside of your assembly. That way it'll make us easier to create that volume running through our mold. And by dynamically moving our grid, we can quickly see the different areas we need to cap. Our prepare tab lets us get models ready for analysis. We use volume extract to declare all the inlets and outlets running through a model before creating the fluid volume that goes through it. Here we can see the dark blue is our fluid volume, and if we isolate that, we can see the path of the, flu of the plastic going through our mold. Now after we create this, it's just a solid model, so we're still able to pull on it, fill things, and make any changes we may need to make. For example, we may take that plastic and split it up into different sections to break up our analysis. Focus on the inlet model, focus on the cavity, or focus on the area in between. I hope you've seen how SpaceClean can be used to quickly and efficiently edit parts and assemblies to prepare models for mold flow.